two events have occurred this afternoon which are very interesting. Uh, one is the king has come out of hospital, so not only the Princess of Wales, but also the king on his way home uh, after prostate surgery. And the other interesting event is Lawrence Fox's emergence from the Royal Courts of Justice and a, a, a sort of chaos um, with uh, the, the judge apparently going to have to rule at a later stage about what exactly racism might be and, and of course, issues of damages. So the uh, media is very excited that Lawrence Fox seems to have lost the case, but I'm not sure that is the point. I'm not sure that's true. There are three issues in the case. The first is that Lawrence Fox uh, feels that uh, it was career-ending, rather than career-defining, to be called a racist. The second is that his charge that uh, one of the RuPaul um, drag artists uh, and another person called... Uh, oh, my gosh, I'm, I'm, I've, I've, I've lost the detail now. Where, where, where is it? Blake. Simon Blake. Uh, another person called Simon Blake. Simon Blake, uh, who's a, a former uh, member of Stonewall, um, and Crystal, who, uh, who, who whose name is Colin Seymour, uh, he called these people uh, paedophiles. Now, again, um, in the court, it seems to have been established that no serious harm was done. But to call somebody who is gay a paedophile is a... It's a um, it, it's a dangerous game, and of course not true, um, and uh, and and is therefore uh, at best homophobic, and at worst uh, a dangerous libel. Um, but I think there's there's a third issue, which is the the issue about um, black identity and whether uh, there's very interesting debate about whether. A black person should play a white historical character, like, for example, Anne Boleyn, and Fox would turn around and say, well, therefore, a white actor could play Nelson Mandela. Um, I'm inclined to agree with him, actually. Uh, if if we are involved in colorblind casting, then skin color doesn't matter. But that's not what we're involved in. And I think we have to be very careful with the language which we're using. And that's where we come to this issue about racism and racism needs to be defined. And again, I think uh, there's a lot of people who run around the place saying they know what racism is in the same way as a lot of people run around the place saying they know what homophobia is. But when it comes to the crunch, when it comes to the legal issue and the legal definition, that isn't so clear cut. Because we're dealing with language which has morphed and language which has been applied to a much greater range of issues than would originally have been intended. And, and, and therefore, therefore it's, much, it's much more nuanced. Um, I, think, I, I think it's a very interesting story. I think uh, not, not least, of course not least, I think uh, Lawrence Fox has overstated his position, has perhaps been a little uncautious. He's clearly not very well advised, but I think his heart is in the right place, and I don't think he's a wicked or a mean individual. But I think he's going to find this is a, uh, this is something which is going to come with very, very high damages and costs, and um, I, I think this will probably destroy the Reclaim Party um, in one fell swoop. And that may the the whole purpose of this um, may well be to um, dis dis destroy uh, a political movement which showed signs initially of being quite powerful. I think we need more political movements. I think we need a greater diversity of polit political movements, as indeed we need a greater diversity of media. Um, what we're getting, of course, is a, a, a new branch of right-wing media 
and right-wing expression, which is in itself quite tribal um, and quite defiant and fairly thoughtless and uninformed. Uh, and at the same time, we've got this idea, this sort of ideology of the BBC, which has interpreted um, unbiased as meaning um, uh, giving equal equal view to opposing uh, e equal time to opposing views, which is an absurd idea about um, being fair. I think I think the BBC should rework its charter so so its um its commitment is to fairness rather than unbiased uh, coverage. Because I don't think anybody can be unbiased. I think that's the point. We have to be fair and we have to be honest about our bias. Once we've got that on paper and once we've got that established, then I think we can move forward. And I think we need far many more biased media outlets so that we have a range of opinion. We used to have that in the newspapers. I don't think we do anymore. I think uh, at the moment we have a very tribal and rather unattractive uh, news coverage, and so and 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 so today, the uh, the Guardian has got a has got a um, has got a clear cut headline: Lawrence Fox loses libel battle with Twitter users. He called paedophiles. I'm not sure that's entirely an honest statement of what has happened. It th there seems to be an element of conflict confusion about what has happened, and. Um, uh, and and it follows the reclaim party being sued by Simon Blake and by Crystal um, over this uh, ex exchange in Twitter, where Lawrence Fox called them paedophiles, um, and uh, so so this is a counter a counter suing, um, and Lawrence Fox was said to have defamed these two individuals when he used this slur um, and, uh, and and he has told the High Court that the retort that he was a racist was a, reputa a reputation destroying allegation and career ending. His claims, says the Guardian, have been dismissed. I'm not sure that's entirely true. I think uh, judging from the uh, interview he's just given, his claims seem to be paused while the judge goes back and tries to work out what racism means.